And now we turn to our reflection on the reading that was just done. Um, our reflection theme for today is walking and talking with the risen Christ. Let the words of my lips, O Lord, and the meditation of our hearts be found acceptable in your sight, O God, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. The story of Jesus appearing and walking with two of his disciples along the Emmaus Road beautifully illustrates what happens when we walk and talk with Jesus. Interestingly, in this resurrection appearance, the two were kept from recognizing Jesus. The story doesn't explain why this was so. Whatever the reason, and we can speculate, the fact is, for seven miles, they failed to recognize that this was Jesus walking with them. This is, however, a sobering reminder to all of us that there are individuals who, as yet, do not know Jesus. They do not recognize him. They do not realize that Jesus is in their midst. They go on as though they don't know that it is Jesus. Fortunately, my friends, Cleopas and his companion didn't dismiss this stranger as one with whom they would have nothing to do. But they took him into their company. They walked with him and talked with him along the way. And as I reflect on this story today, my sisters and brothers, I see some wonderful truths that I'd like to share with you. And the first is that the risen Christ comes to those who are downcast. The story says of Cleopas and his companion that they looked at the risen Christ their faces downcast. Some translations say they were sad. They were feeling low. Their spirits drooping. They had lost courage. Additionally, they had lost hope. Listen to what they said to Jesus, whom they had not yet recognized. We had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. In these words, my dear sisters and brothers, Cleopas and his companion give expression to the long-held dream and, and hope of the Jewish people that a Messiah would come and redeem them from, from their oppression from those who had oppressed them, the Romans and others who had oppressed them. But their hopes were dashed. The risen Christ came and they did not recognize that he was in their midst. He walked with them and talked with them. And the good news, my friends, is that when we walk and talk with the risen Christ, he can lift us out of our dejection. He can restore our hope and our confidence. The other thing about this story that I think is worth reflecting on is that the risen Christ comes to those whose minds are darkened or dull. The two of these whom Jesus met along the way, did not seem to grasp 
did not seem to understand the way of God and what God had done for the world in Jesus Christ. So Jesus chides them in his conversation with them. He says, how foolish and slow to believe. My friends, what Cleopas and his companions, uh, his companion experience shows that Christ comes and offers his word, the word of truth, by which those who listen can be enlightened, can be edified, they can have understanding. So the risen Christ came, he walked with them and talked with them and gave them light and understanding. The risen Christ is ready to enter through the open door of our homes and our hearts. That's what this story tells me. The two invited Jesus to spend the night with them. Remember, up to now they had not yet recognized that it was Jesus walking and talking with them along the way. But here, they gave Jesus an invitation. Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. And what I like, my sisters and brothers, is how the risen Christ accepted their invitation. He did not decline the invitation that was extended to him. The story says, so he went in to stay with them. Jesus broke bread with them. And now they recognized him as he vanished from their sight. Friends, it doesn't matter what our homes are like. If we extend that invitation to Christ, he is always ready and willing to come and, and spend time with us to come and dwell with us, to reside with us. So the risen Christ came to them. He walked with them and talked with them and was willing to stay with them. You see, my friends, we must invite Christ into our homes and into our situation. He doesn't just barge in uninvited. He's not that type. But we must invite him to be the special guest in our home, in our lives, in our situation, and as a guest who never departs. And Christ is always ready to enter that open door so long as we invite him in. And finally, my friends, the risen Christ comes to those who have lost desire. I picture Cleopas and his companion as persons experiencing some form of defeat, who were feeling disappointed, who were going through depression, feeling deflated. They needed something to reignite them and they got it when the risen Christ appeared to them along the Emmaus road. And hear their words as they talked among themselves. Didn't our hearts burn within us, they said. You know, this reminds me of something John Wesley said at his conversion experience. Wesley wrote in his journal, I felt my heart strangely warmed. The assurance Christ brings, my friends, that fire that burns in the heart and transforms it, changes it. That flame of love that had been extinguished is now rekindled. The light that had flickered and gone out was now burning brightly again because of Christ, because these two opened their homes and opened their hearts 
and their minds to what Jesus had to say to them and to his presence. They had new energy, enthusiasm and excitement. And, and they cast all of that, all, everything off. All that they were feeling before, they laid it aside. Be, when the risen Christ appeared to them and, and joined them on the way. And they returned to Jerusalem, making that seven mile journey as late as it was to share their good news, to share their testimony and their witness that they had seen the Lord. Oh, what, what a transformation, what a change the risen Christ made in their lives. Those who had lost desire, those who felt defeated and, and disappointed were now reinvigorated, re-energized to go and share their testimony with others. My friends, let the risen Christ be your companion along life's way. Let him join you in your journey through life. He is able to lift you up when you are down, when you are confused. He helps you sort out and, and understand life's perplexing issues. He is never too busy to share his time and his life with you, his company with you. He wants to be your friend. And he's able to revive your hope, renew your strength, and give you joy again. Oh, how we need these things today and throughout life as we face the challenges and the, and the difficulties and the disappointments that life can bring. Invite the risen Christ into your home. Invite the risen Christ into your heart. And so let his presence never leave you and let his presence bless your soul and shed a joyful light hallelujah christ is risen amen <laughs>